Ready? Yes, yeah, sense, over to you. <laughs> Once upon a time, a long time ago, about a mess ago, there was a little boy in a land far away. Well, actually, it could have been somewhere around here. There was a girl called Olivia. And this is where our story begins. Mine. <laughs> Is it? It's 
makes him trouble. Let's see if three days in the hole down can your rebellious nature. Dickon, take her down. You'll have to catch me first. I'm going to test that with you, but she'll be back in two minutes. No one ever escapes from here. Look, she's running across the yard. She's trying to climb the gate. You can't run the too high. No, look, she's at the top. She's good to meet you. She can just. She's over. She's free. Yay! Yay! Silence when you cheer. Dig in after her. Well, I'll never climb that gate. I'm too old. What's this at your belt? He's the gate. Precisely. <laughs> get going and let her back. Yes, my little bitch. And as for you lot, in case you get any ideas of following Olivia's example, it's just water for you for the rest of the day and two hours extra so. Oh. Grown as much as you like. Blame it on Olivia. I don't blame Olivia. I wish I had her spirit. It's been an awful day today, but it was worth it. Well, neither. 
George Bernard Shaw, you're right. What did I tell you girls? It may be for only half an hour, but I'm going to be a real ritzy lady.
He was when he came to London. Thank you. You ain't thinking of you a girl. Desperate times demand desperate measures. Let's do it. You're on. Hello, child. You look lost. I am, sir. I've just come to London. Then you're a lucky girl to have met us. Because what we don't know about London ain't worth knowing. Poor child, you look cold and hungry. That's I am, sir. What's your name, dearie? Olivia. Well, Olivia, how would you like to earn a pet? What do I have to do? I'll give you a simple test. If you pass, there's lots of more pennies to be earned. What is it? Reading, arithmetic, spag? <laughs> Don't we look like teachers? Look, there's a posh coming this way. I want you to go up to him and ask him if he knows the way to... Tesco's. <laughs> but I thought you knew everywhere in London. Uh, they knew you. Rovers, dinner. Well, it's a funny sort of test, but... All right. Thank you, Eliza. I enjoyed our chat. Got a new idea for a play. I'm going to call it Pig Maid. <laughs> no, it's a classical legend of a heroine. You can't have a tart like it. You need something catchy. Something the public will go for. Any suggestion? Something to do with London. London boots falling down. Nah, that ain't good enough. Wait, I've got it. My fair lady. Look, at Marshall by the Watson one. Go on, now! Excuse me, sir. Yes, what's do you know the way to Tesco? Tesco? I don't want to know the way to Tesco. I don't know if my friends do either. I believe it's in that direction. Let's scout up! What? Help! I've been robbed. My wallet has been stolen. You, child, you're responsible. I shall summon the police. No, it won't be a fault. Oh, I saw her again. It was the old geese with the young man. She must be there, of course. They gave me a penny to ask you the way. I didn't know they were going to rob you. Here, you can have that penny. A penny? There's ten pounds in that wallet. No, this is a case of the police. Oh, don't miss the George Burn and Hearty Mighty Shaw. <laughs> What's your name, girl? Olivia. And how much money you got, Olivia? This penny. Nothing else? No, I've just arrived here. I was going to find some work. Don't you see? This little girl will go and walk you all she had in the world. And if you don't wear it, would you offer her all your riches? Because I know you're well off, ain't you? I'm sorry, Olivia. Here, here's five pounds for you. Five pounds for you, Eliza. I'm afraid I'll just steal your plunges that jumped to the wrong conclusion. But your wallet? It was lit. I saw it near to eye. A false one, my dear. I was warned by my friend Oscar Wilde about the dangers of this So there weren't a ten of them just something I couldn't use and they're welcome to have. What was that? Due to get to the opera, it's Susan Boyle, I believe, and four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you will please me. Hey, you hungry? I plead a whore. Don't turn fake. There's many parts here, it will do. Look, look, I earned this five pounds easy. I'll buy us a snack at meal. That would be lovely. Okay, I've got five pounds too. No, dearie, your need is greater than mine. Got anywhere to stay? No. Do you think kids with me tonight? There ain't no room to speak in the cat in my place, but you don't know I squeeze me. That's very kind of you, Mum. Mum? Blimey, ain't you a polite little girl? You call me Eliza, and I'll call you Olivia. Olivia what, by the way? Ravens of the Dale. Olivia Ravens Dale? Never heard of me. I was named after the convent where they brought me when I was a baby. You were an orphan then. Shame. Even more reason to say you treat her proper. Tell you what, tomorrow I'll set you up with Mrs. Orr. She runs what's called a poor school for girls. She's a kindly old soul. Sounds a bit close to the women sometimes, but we all got to make a living anyway. Anyway, let's go back to my place and get changed. You can borrow some clothes from Mr. Peavy downstairs. Then, Olivia, you and I are going to have the best fish and chips up and money can buy. Do you know what, Eliza? What? I've never been this happy in my life before. Seems like you don't have much fun, do I haven't. I tell you what, after this work, I'll take you down to the musical. Let's go 
Olivia, you and I are going to take the Tom Boy store tonight. <laughs>
biggest test we hear it from those attending the school. Good morning, girls! Good morning, Mrs. Horn! Are you all ready for today's lesson in life and how to cope with it? I think we know it off by heart now, Mrs. Horn. Good, then you won't have any trouble repeating it. Are you all ready? Yes, yes Mrs. Horn! Eliza! Girls, girls, let Eliza breathe. What can I do for you, Eliza? Today is the day of your lesson. Olivia? And then I miss this one, and I'd like you to take her in. Do you look like Eliza anything? Hello, Olivia, and welcome to Mrs. Hall's Poor School for Girls. I, of course, am Mrs. Hall, and these are my girls. Say hello to Olivia, girls. Hello, Olivia. I think I'm going to like it here. Of course you will. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought you in. Now, you'll come and see you, won't you? You know I will. And I'll see you with the girl when I come and teach my weekly lesson. What is it you teach, Eliza? Elocution in English language. <laughs> now that spoken by a reindeer queen. <laughs> Must be off. Got anything to make? Bye, Olivia. Bye, Eliza. Bye, Mrs. Hall. Bye, Eliza. Bye, girls. Bye, Bye Eliza. Eliza. Well, girls, let's make our newest arrival feel at home. <coughs> make friends with her and tell her what we do here. Yes, but everyone's busy sleeping. That's probably the worst part of the day. You have to help out. Yeah. You have to get out of your bed quickly. Or oh, Miss will have your sheet off, curtains thrown back, and a cold cold left on your face before you know what's hit you. We have milk and bread and jam and bread. Then we have a couple of hours of lessons. Reading, writing, arithmetic, and spark. History and geography. And elocution and English language. Like what's spoken by our own dear queen. Then there are useful skills. Like cleaning, learning how to cook, gardening, not to mention, knitting and sewing. Oh, not sewing! I'm useless at it. What are you good at, Olivia? Singing. Well, that's only what we're doing in that here. Perhaps we can see you. Yes. Oh, yes, please. I've always fancied the idea of a choir. Although I'm not sure it'll be any good. I'd love to help teach you all. All right, girls. Stop your chattering while I have a few words with our newest pupil. Well, Olivia, what do you think? It's lovely. I'm going to enjoy it here. But how do you do it? It must cost a bit to run. Well, I was coming to that. We need to charge the institution. You have to earn your own key. In the morning we have lessons, and for the rest of the day we earn the dock. We have laundry and fruit in the fairing hall, and some of the girls walk in. Some of us do mending and darning. Some of us make ladies' clothes and hats for sale. Don't forget our shooting big service. We get lots of shiny and bright. Even for those men who take us part inside the Turner's drill camp. Some are in a part-time with the gentry, all working shops. Others go out collecting for our charity. What charity? The charity that starts at home, dearie. Everyone hands in what they earn, be it a penny or a pound. I take my split, half it's for the upkeep of this place, and the rest is for the girls. Are you happy with that? It sounds more than fair. Did you hear that, girls? It sounds like a movie wants to join us. Yay! Now, I'll have to see what work she's suited for. She's safely good at seeing. Is she now? All right, Olivia, let's hear it. You mean sing. Now. Sing, 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 sing. sing. All right. It's a simple little tune, and I don't know what 
Emily and Charlotte. These girls work the West End. People are richer in the West End. And I mean it's really tough getting money out of them. We'll have to be even tougher then. Yay! Yay. Girls, where's your picture today? Covent Garden. Good, then you can take Olivia with you and teach her the business. Covent Garden? That means I'll see Eliza again. Don't spend too long chattering with her. She's a terrible gossip, it's Eliza. No, darn it, it's Sunday tomorrow. Let's all have a holiday. Yay! <laughs> I don't know what it is with you, Olivia. You've only been here ten minutes and you've already got me to give us a holiday. But what the heck? It's, we've had such a good week, we can afford it. But since you weren't here for it, let's repeat today's lesson. <laughs> Oh, 
collecting boys ourselves. Look, see how you'll need it. You'll have a tough time getting enough of the money off the rich folks around here. They're as tight as the ducks. <laughs> we'll see. Emily, Anne, Charlotte, show me how it's done. Charity! You'll have to do better than that, girls. Let me show you. Oh! 
but I'm very glad to hear it. You can help me singing just now, and you're just the person I need. You see, you and Solomon will be just like you for show. It's called Trial by Judge, and there's for someone to play the daughter. Well, I don't know. I love singing, but I'd have to ask Mrs. Hall. Mrs. Hall, I know the old bag. <laughs> The dear, pardon me, the dear lady. We can swing it here. Plus there's money in it for you too. I'll take ten percent of you, dear. I also take ten percent of God here too. Well, Olivia, what do you say? Well, if it's all right with Mrs. Hall, yes, I'd love to do it. Very good. Come on then, let's have a check. Let me introduce you to Gilbert and Son. You can be a star on the stage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Anyway, please take your seat, Raven, for tonight's show. Starting our very own Olivia as the daughter. Be sure to keep a watchful eye and scrupulous characters as guys on the stage. But most of all, enjoy the show. Thank you. 
show your father mercy. I release him into your custody. Make sure he picks up his apple cord in future. Yes, sir. Court adjourned. Oh, yeah. 
you me take me on? Me? We're lady. Blimey! What's he a professor of? Linguistics and phonetics. What's that? Hey? Elocution in English language. Like the spoken by a reindeer queen? Precisely. <laughs> Yeah. 